kind of giving ramen noodle head right now with this twist out. Don't, don't love it, but here we are. Hello, people of the internet. It is about that time that I need new hair products, and I saw some in Target, and I decided to purchase them, and they are the Curl Days products. I remember seeing the owner on TikTok. She was really excited that the products were now being sold in store, and I decided we're going to support her, and we're going to purchase those because, like Issa Rae said, I'm rooting for um, everybody black. Also, they were pretty inexpensive, so that was great. She had four products. It was a shampoo, a leave-in conditioner, and then the two that I purchased. And these are them. This one is the Creamy Curl Styler with Kukui Oil. It says it's great for twist outs, braid outs, and wash and goes. And then this one is the Glossy Shine Gel with Kukui Oil, and it says it's for shiny, defined twist outs, braid outs, wash and goes, and edges. So these are the two that we have. We're gonna try them out. Okay, so I just co-washed my hair in the shower with this Not Your Mother's Conditioner. This was not the one I meant to buy, but this is the one I got. It's the Aquatic Mint and Coastal Sea Holly Scalp Refresh Conditioner. I wanted the moisture one, but I got this one. It is what it is. And then I just detangled it with this comb. Probably not the best thing to use, but it's what I have. So I did that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and try these out. I feel like there's a protective seal on them, which excites me. There's not. Bamboozled. I wish there was a protective seal. Just because then I know nobody messed with it and maybe it does come with a protective seal and that one's ripped off and somebody did mess with it, you know? But neither of them have one, so maybe not. Okay, it is what it is. Deduct points for that, we're not keeping points, but deduct points for that. Originally, I was gonna try it out the way that I saw in her video and I just rewatched it and it actually wasn't a tutorial on how to use these products. It was a tutorial on how to eliminate frizz. So I'm not sure that that's the best way to use the product. So maybe I'm not going to do that. I think I'm going to do it the way I normally do my hair just because that's how I would wear it, you know? Um, it's basically the same way. She just used smaller, smaller sections and then shingled there at the end. And I don't want to do that because that just seems really time consuming. And I would never really do that in real life. So I'm not going to shingle it, but you know, you can do that if you want to eliminate frizz. I forgot to mention, I did leave some of this in my hair and it's just because my hair dries really fast. And if I wouldn't have done that, it would be completely dry right now. Um, but I don't think it's going to affect the way this works because I do it all the time. So it's still an accurate first impression because there's no way in hell I'm ever trying a product without leaving some conditioner in my hair, so it's fine. She said to use a generous amount. Again, she was talking about people who wanted to eliminate frizz, so we'll see, but I'm just gonna rake that on in. It smells nice. It kind of smells like a lotion or something. It probably smells like a hair product because it's a hair product, but it's giving lotion vibes. The scent makes me feel like it's going to be moisturizing, but then again, my hair is blonde and dead, so who knows? And now I'm just raking in the gel thing. So far, I like how it's gliding. I do feel as though my hair doesn't feel dry and strong hay-like, which happens a lot with me. So we're off to a good start. The ends of my hair are very dead, by the way, and I'm aware of that. And I tried to make an appointment to get my hair cut, but apparently everybody is preparing for summer and they don't have any appointments until next month. So the ends are a little dead. So we'll, we'll cut some slack for that. That's what I was trying to say. I'm just, whatever, anyways. I'm taking about this amount, which is kind of a lot actually, but I don't know less is more. So. That's what we're doing. So this is what it's looking like. I normally finger coil the front of my hair, but I just decided not to do that this time. Just so we can see how it looks just as a regular wash and go. I guess I should scrunch this a little bit since my ends are really dead. But 
I might try it again and do the finger coils just to compare and contrast, but this is what it's looking like now. You can't see it at all, but this is what it's looking like. I will report back later once it's dry. The ends don't look bad, even though they're majorly dead. Okay, so end of the day, this is what my hair is looking like. And I will say I actually really like it. I think it looks really good. It's enhancing the color of my hair as well, which I don't think that has anything to do with it, but I can just see the color very well. And it dried very nicely. I will say there is like kind of like a residue coming off like a film but that might just be because I use too much it's not very noticeable I only notice it when I like rub my hands together like this but overall I really like it I don't hate how it looks kind of impressed also my aunt said it looked good so it's not just me so it has been some time since I first initially tried the wash and go the first impression and while i did like it um i just felt like the film was something that was the only issue i had so today i'm trying it again um but i'm finger coiling the front and i'm going to try and use less product because i think that's probably why it ended up having a film but the reason why it's been a minute since i've tried that it's been like a couple weeks and the reason that is is because it lasted so well it lasted a whole week which is big for me because i don't really maintain hairstyles i'm big on just redoing them and it lasted me a week so if you're somebody who can get your hair to last a while it'll probably last you longer all i did was put a satin scrunchie and a bonnet on it when i slept and it held up for a whole week i have also tried other hairstyles with this brand with these products um i tried it out with just using the gel and i will say i didn't love how that turned out um it wasn't bad it just didn't look as good as when i used them together it also didn't last as long so i think they work better as a unit together um if you're going to try them i would try them together i also tried it as a twist out this gel it smells like bubble gum but a very particular type of bubble gum and at first i thought it was like bubblegum scented bubbles like mr bubbles bubbles i need to stop saying bubbles but i think i finally figured out what the scent is and it's bubblegum flavored children's mouthwash that's what it smells like it's giving me nostalgia also kind of disgusting that that's a thing but that's what it smells like this is kind of how the twist out turned out, the three strand twist out. This bit's a little frizzy, but we're just going to tuck her back there and ignore her because that is a me issue. That is my fault. I, you know, was pulling it apart a little too much and now it's frizzy. And I liked how it turned out. It lasted about a week as well, but that's typical for twist outs for me because I tend to, um, make it frizzy. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. I pull it apart too much and I make it frizzy so it doesn't really last much longer than that. But it looks really cute in buns if you do a twist out. So it does give me different hairstyles to try out, I will say. My hair does look shorter when I do it and that sends me into a spiral, but that's a me issue, honestly. So this is how it's looking. I will say I did smaller finger coils on this side than this side, so they're not going to look like twins, but they will be sisters. Um, this is how it looks in the front. This is the back, and I will try to show you what it looks like later. Okay, so it's the next day, and this is what my hair looks like. I just put it in a scrunchie, a bonnet, slept on it, and this is what it's looking like. It looks basically the same as yesterday. Overall, really like it. I liked how easy it was to do the finger coils with these products. Overall, I like them. I know the first day I said that it was like leaving a film on my hands. That was a me issue. I used too much product, I'm pretty sure, because I haven't had that issue again. So disregard that I said that. But overall, I really like them. I would 10 out of 10 recommend. They're easy to find. Found them in Target. They're versatile. You could do a lot of hairstyles with it. Braid outs, twist outs, wash and goes, whatever else people do. I have no idea. Um, and it's inexpensive. And it's black owned. So overall, great products. Definitely recommend. Love how my hair looks. You should try it out yourself.